So when things started happening this summer, when George Floyd was killed, I just started thinking about, you know, what, what is it that the foundation can do to try to make a difference? Um, as I was praying, just asking God, like, what is our role here? I felt like we have all these friends in Chester that we love and care about. And I have lots of friends in Westchester who've been part of the foundation and an integral in, in our programming. And so I thought we would just choose five black men, five black women from Chester, five white men and five white women from Westchester and bring them together for a conversation for a couple of hours. Uh, each conversation was an hour and 45 minutes long and just topic after topic, um, challenging topics. I could see that they were growing closer together. As much as I had anticipated that good things would come from it, I didn't understand really um, the relationships that would form. And as we were kind of saying goodbye and thanking everyone for participating, one of my friends from Chester just kind of unmuted himself and said, you know, shame on us now that I know Matthew in Westchester, shame on us if we don't continue in a friendship. And so everybody agreed that they wanted to continue. And so that was the beginning of what now is Brave Conversations with community leaders. I feel like there's a lot of statements being made uh, right now in our uh, community and in society and not a lot of healthy dialogue. We all need to be continual learners. That's how we develop, that's how we grow as people, and that impacts every facet of our lives. I'm excited to see how these conversations are going to help impact how I raise my kids, how I love my wife, how I care for this community, um, how I build relationships. And one of my hopes is that we utilize our strength in numbers, that that can kind of go into households and into families and into minds and consciousness of their children and nephews and nieces and you know uh, and, and go from there. Now when I hear news about social injustice I'm more likely to go this this is real for people this is still happening and it's 2021 now and we're still facing these issues as a society. The, the Hicks Foundation has done some groundbreaking things and I think this is just one of them. Now, let's talk let's let's get there let's let's uncover some things let's peel that onion and let's get down to it. If we are aligned, our interests are aligned, and if we're willing to lay aside our privilege and pick up someone else's burden, that together we can really be impactful and make a change.